A study at Nature.com says it would be conceivable to power all of the world's energy needs from wind. There's a lot of wind going to waste out there. Could buy a wind turbine. These were once common for pumping water. Now each of these units power hundreds of homes. Imagine that line of work. If you've ever wondered whether it could be at all practical to build your own wind turbine out of a bicycle wheel, the answer is... Yes! This video shows one way to go about doing that. We'll walk through steps in building a wind turbine from a bicycle wheel for generating electricity, simply and with easily available parts. As good a place as any to build a wind turbine. First, round up a wheel. Remove the axle. Pop the bearing cover off. They're just held in place by friction. Remove the bearings. These are contained in a set. Now often they'll be loose like this. Clean up the grease. And this is a standard bolt with fine threads, and it's going to make sense in just a second. It's important that the bolt be centered well. There's no need for pricey couplers or bearing mounts. Here's the secret sauce. A chuck from a drill as a coupler, solving a lot of problems. The chuck is adjustable, of course, and you can easily experiment around with different generators. You can remove every other pair of spokes for better airflow. Tape marks the ones to keep. These vice grips have a cutting edge. Want to let that plane take off, so here's some miscellaneous information. This is a recent list of the world's top countries for total wind turbine watts compared to population. Wind power is currently the fastest growing source of electricity production in the world. A renewal of the wind energy tax credit in 2013 is now breathing even more life into the industry. Now, sometimes one quarter of the grid power in Texas is thanks to wind. Here are the top states in the U.S. per capita. Existing wind turbines in the United States could power all of the state of Colorado. In 2012, GE celebrated its 20,000th wind turbine installation. As of the end of 2012, the United States had 45,000 wind turbines operating. Hmm. Based on this data, it seems detractors ought to be trying to ban windows instead of wind turbines. Here's a surprising fact. The Personal Computing Industry Center found that the wind industry created more employment in the U.S. than the iPod in 2006. Now, there is some debate as to who built the first electrical wind turbine in 1888. This one by Charles Brush in the state of Ohio? Or this one by Scottish professor James Blythe, Vertical Axis? Just inserting the axle to give it a spin. Washers for centering the bolt need to be the right size so the inner diameter fits the bolt snugly, and the outer edge of the washers can land on the inside curve of the hub where the bearing sat. You could buy a new chuck or remove one from an old drill. You want to find a way to jam the motor and rotate the chuck counterclockwise. Here's a basic example of the parts. Yeah, there she is, looking good and generating electricity. Slots in the strut and fin and apply some glue to hold it in place. Here's a 100 watt light bulb just showing that this DC motor acting as a generator can deliver some power. Here's what a motor generator is like on the inside. This is a treadmill motor off Craigslist, which often has ads for treadmills inexpensively. Most treadmills have DC motors. Nylon is great, yet expensive for spacers if you need them, or thick wall fuel hose can be cut to whatever length you need. Attach the wheel to the generator to find out how true it spins. You could connect a normal 9 volt battery, for example, and watch it turn. This wheel is in pretty bad shape. After working with spoke wrenches, this is a lot better. It's pretty good. Here's a quick and dirty example of blades, just using some tape for now. Or you can use vinyl of the stick-on lettering kind. It shrinks a little when heated, so they straighten out beautifully. With the blades in place, the wheel needs to be balanced. If only there were low-friction bearings that everyone has easy access to. Where on earth could something like that be found? Mm, think, think, uh... Oh, right! The other wheel of the bike! Here the chuck is connected to the axle of the other wheel. If a dime taped to the wheel at 1 or 2 o'clock turns the wheel, then it is low friction enough and you're good to go for balancing. A little glue opposite any side that wants to go to the bottom is one way to balance the wheel. 
Find the center of gravity of the entire assembly to be able to drill the hole for the bearing a bit towards the wheel. Slightly fin heavy to prevent rocking since the flange bearings have a bit of play in them. A hole saw made for wood is surprisingly not bad on aluminum. With the use of cutting fluid, it works like magic. Here's one way to handle a slippering assembly and another option coming. The white PVC part is called a bushing and has half inch threads so an adapter is used. A piece of brass tubing takes up extra space between the brass 3 8 plumbing fitting and bearing. This nut is also a standard plumbing part from the hardware store and most have flange bearings too. The slip ring allows electricity to flow through the wires while the two ends rotate relative to each other. PVC coupler for the pole. Less expensive options for slip rings are audio and power connectors. Quarter inch audio jack as a slip ring. A second option is simpler except you need to make threads. Drill and tap an end cap so it looks like this. We've all seen these insulators on new batteries. Trim it down so that the lip just covers the inside ring of the bearing. Insert the audio jack and glue that in place. Attach the generator to the strut. This unit could definitely use some weatherproofing like a PVC housing. There we go. Now to keep the battery happy, this is a professional charge controller. It's about $110 though. Or this regulator from the local auto parts store is only about $17 as a possibility. And this is around $10 from eBay. Search using the words boost and buck. It can charge a 12 volt battery with as little as 5 volts input. So that's how you do that. <laughs> Righto! That's one way to build a wind turbine like this using a bicycle wheel. Check out nrgcycle.com for more detail. You can take part in discussions. And if you build one of these, even have a link to your own site from there. Have fun reinventing the wheel. Have fun reinventing the wheel, everybody. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh